here I am, waking up, which means it's a day in the life video. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. That's right, today we are doing a bit of a cozy vlog. It is currently February, which means it's the most wonderful time of the year. It is pre-Valentine's Day season. Everything is red and pink. There are hearts everywhere. Nobody's looking at you weird if you're dressed head to toe in pink. Okay, so I will admit today is not going to be just like a regular day for me. Um, I am throwing a Galentine's party for the first time in my life. I have invited a handful of friends to come over to my patio to wear Lolita, um, drink tea, eat snacks. It's gonna be a really cute time. One thing I will say is that throwing a Galentine's party is a lot more work than it looks like. And if you want to make sure that you have a clean, spotless apartment, uh, the best way to do it is to just schedule a party. <laughs> because I've spent the last like four or five days just deep, deep cleaning my apartment. My patio, like you'll see later, it is pristine, but I had to pull up all of the rugs and like hose them off. It's been a lot of work leading up to this, but uh, it's going to be so worth it. Also, for the past few days, I've been prepping all of the food. I've been doing a lot of baking, which I've learned I'm not a baker. Like, it's not for me. But I've made some really, really cute things and I can't wait to show you guys. Yeah, I'm going to bring you along with me while I go on my morning walk, while I get ready, and then um, I'll try to get as much footage as I can of the tea party, but I also really want to be present, so if there's not a lot of footage of like me and my friends interacting, that's why. Okay, I'm about to head out for my morning walk, so let's go. Morning walk fit check. This is what my local baristas see every day. This is absolutely not my neighborhood, but I like to come here to walk in the mornings because the houses are gorgeous. After shower fit check, I have way too many of these oversized Valentine's t-shirts. I just love them so much. My face routine is pretty simple. I just moisturize and then toss on a really light foundation. I have lash extensions and I feel like that always makes my morning getting ready process go so much faster. Um, I don't know why I decided to be like a makeup influencer here, but this is my sugar pill palette. I use this to put on my eyebrows every morning. Ooh, this thing is also really fun. It's a freckle stamp. I just stamp it onto my makeup sponge and then pop freckles on my face every morning. It's so easy. I got this off Amazon. Let me know if you want the link. I'll toss it in the comments. Just adding the last finishing touches and voila, we are done. Now it's time to make the tea sandwiches. Like I said, I am not a baker. I was actually very optimistic and I was like, hey boyfriend, let's make some pink bread. And he being a pastry chef was like, absolutely not. You're not ready for bread making. So he hooked me up with one of his friends, Miha Bakes, and we uh, commissioned this custom pink loaf of bread from her. And it is so perfect. The pink color came out so good. So for this first sandwich, I'm just taking this giant heart-shaped cookie cutter and cutting out the heart-shaped slices. This is going to be the main tea sandwich and it is made of roasted turkey, um, sliced gouda. I'm putting some cranberry sauce on one slice of the bread and a little bit of Kewpie mayo on the other slice. Oh, and I think I forgot to record this part, but I also put apple slices on it with a little bit of Meyer lemon zest. Um, these turned out so good. 
I legitimately will probably be making these for lunch for the next two weeks. Okay, next up is the little sweet dessert sandwich. This one is a strawberry jam and peanut butter with cream cheese mixture. Um, I decided to make these sandwiches fully first and then cut them out, which didn't work too great, but it's okay. I just kind of zhuzhed them together. And as you can see, there's a lot of leftover bread from cutting out the shapes. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see what we make with it. I baked these little bare-faced shortbread cookies the night before, and now I'm just adding the finishing touches. And now that the food is all prepared, it is time to speed clean this patio. Like I said, I did do a deep clean of the patio, but here in Los Angeles, it's been raining off and on for the last week or so, so I couldn't really put the entire thing together until the morning of the party. As you can see, things are kind of askew to try and save them from being rained on too much. That's a whole other story, how I keep this patio safe from the rain. It's not easy. <laughs> okay, I think it's starting to come together now. Um, but I did go to like the dollar store and TJ Maxx. And I got a bunch of Valentine's decorations specifically for this party. So it's time to start putting those up. I really loved this pink gingham table runner. I think it was about an hour before the party started at this point. But oh, what is that? A wild scooter appears. And just like that, she's gone. And I'm back to work decorating the patio. Normally I have a little pastel flag bunting all around this patio, but I thought these heart garlands were super cute, so I just replaced them for the day. Alas, no party is complete without a charcuterie board, and Trader Joe's is the best place to get affordable charcuterie. So here's my little Trader Joe's fancy pants charcuterie board. Okay, but before I get ahead of myself, let's get a full 360 view of the Valentine's Day setup. Here she is in all of her glory. I repainted those doll houses. I power washed all of this furniture. Please ignore that one drooping garland. I don't know how I didn't notice when I was filming this. And here's the table set up. Oh my god, I love Valentine's Day aesthetic more than anything else.
So that was it. That was my little Galentine's party. Here are some of my favorite photos that my friends took. Here's the only cord shot I got. And here's a group shot of everyone looking so cute. I am so grateful to all of my friends that came. I had a blast and I would love to do something like this again. But for now, I have to tackle this absolute mountain of dishes. Here's me and my boyfriend recreating that one scene in The Curse where they film a candid interaction over and over until they get it right. Finally, it's time for a well-deserved bath featuring a bath bomb, bath snacks, which I highly recommend, and a healthy bit of dissociation. Okay, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching for staying till the end, here's our peanut butter and jelly bread pudding that we made with the leftover bread.